Italian vegetables, there's thousands of them and thousands of ways of preparing them. So string beans, a common vegetable, very much used in Italy. And I'm gonna make it with a little bit of tomatoes and onions. Very simple, very Italian. First, let's blanch the string beans. And while they are cooking and blanching, let's make the sauce, a nice pot where we can add all the string beans after, olive oil, onions, a little bit of salt to wilt the onions. Let's work on the tomatoes. So these are the Roma tomatoes. You know, I, I love San Marzano, but if I don't have San Marzano, I love the Roma tomatoes. And the Roma tomatoes are in the same family in a way. Let me just show you. I'm gonna cut right through it. And you can see that it's a tomato that has a lot of pulp. Uh, it doesn't have too much juice and not too many seeds. So they're good for making sauce. Let me squeeze out. I wanna remove the seeds. And you see, it doesn't have too many seeds and it doesn't have even too much juice. Let's, okay. I'm saving the juice. I'm squeezing the seeds out. Okay. All right. Let's chop the tomatoes in kind of rough, rough chops. I want the tomatoes to be evident, sort of chunks of tomatoes, not just the sauce, but I want pieces of tomatoes with the string beans. And this is great uh, to use tomatoes like that, especially when you have them and they're getting ripe. You don't know what to do with them. Use them as a base for the other vegetables, be it string beans, you can do cauliflower this way, and so on. Okay. Let me add a little bit of salt here, a little bit of peperoncino, give it a little bit of zest. Okay. This is wilting nicely. Let's check on the string beans. Yeah. They need a little bit more time. I'm looking, maybe I just need a little bit of the water. So just uh, a little bit of water right from the stream beans. So, okay. I am checking on the fagiolini. They are cooked. Let me just bring them over. I could strain them, but you know, I'm gonna fish them out. I kind of like fishing. But let me put them right in here. They'll finish cooking in here. And I must kind of almost warn you in advance that the acidity of the tomatoes will change a little bit the color of the string beans if the string beans stay in the sauce for a while. So here we are. I think it needs a little drizzle of oil. I think we are ready. I want a little bit for me. Let me collect a little bit of string beans, a little bit of tomatoes, a little bit of sauce right here, a little bit of sauce for me, and it's good, simple, straightforward. I'm gonna cut it up a little bit like that. I could take a little piece of bread and certainly kind of dunk bread in here. So let's taste. Mm. Buonissimo. So you're gonna make it, right? 